Oh, this is nice. Yeah. Plenty so of space. It's... Yeah, exactly. Louise wants to build Elisa's confidence, so she's found a closed space with no distractions for their first lesson. What I want to do is start to teach him that he gets rewarded for when he starts choosing to be near you. As soon as he does anything where he glimpses and looks at you... Right. Good boy. OK. okay. So we're just going to ignore him. Because at the moment he's having a little explore. Hi! Good oh, yeah. boy! So I'm just going to have a little treat because he chose to come back. Well done. If he learns that where you are is where the good things are, he will always want to be near you yeah. and actually not stray too far. <sighs> this way. Aww. Good! Oh, he's giving you his paw as well. <laughs> this way. <laughs> good boy. Paw. <laughs> this way. Good boy. Yay! He's enjoying this. I can say by the way he's running around, Good he's just boy. like enjoying the activity of it. Come on, Fabs. With Elisa feeling positive, Louise moves the lesson up a level. So let's walk this way a little bit. And this time, Elisa is in control. As soon as he looks at you, yes, good boy, give him a little treat. OK. Then walk away a little bit and see if he'll keep following. Love you. Rewarding eye contact is a great way to open the lines of communication with a pup, as once you have their undivided attention, they're much more likely to want to follow commands. Just, yes! Ah, baby! Yeah, do you want to reward it? doggy! But talking to a puppy when they're distracted will have the opposite effect. This way! Oh. This way! This way! This way! So remember, if he's not doing it, don't keep saying it to him, because what he'll do is just not listen. OK. Good doggy. Yes, that's nice. Good well, well done. done. Good doggy. Well done. I think that Leeds hindering him a bit. If you would be happy to, we just unclip him. No big deal. We don't make yeah. a big deal out of unclipping him. Yeah. Cutting the apron strings in an open space is a significant step for Elisa and Fabio a moment she never shared with Hugo. OK, got it. You all right? Yes. Good boy! Well done, Fabio! Good boy! So just wait for a second, let him have a little sniff, cos this is... Oh! <laughs> He's after... He loves stones. Oh, he doesn't eat yeah. them, though. This way! Nice. Good boy, well Fabio! Well done! While Fabio's loving his newfound liberty, it's still a long way from Elisa's goal of letting him run free on the beach. He's such a fun dog. Yeah. I think it's about now figuring out what are the spaces and the places that you can start to take him to so he can learn about the world, yes. but where you also feel confident. Because if you leave it another six months, it won't magically happen. I think he's having a really good time. He's enjoying oh, he's himself, the time isn't of his he? Life, isn't he? <laughs> if I was to have started training him myself, I would have been calling him Fabio and started running and making him follow me. So this is just like Louise said, you make him have eye contact and make him want to come to you. So I've actually learned something today, which is really positive. I mean, he was, he was actually doing it, wasn't he? So he was, if I keep practising, and I am really determined to help him. Hello, boy. Go on, I can't even push the pram. <laughs> <laughs> Leave that to you. Fabio definitely has got a lovely little spirit about him, and I want that to continue. And I think she really wants to be able to let Fabio off and have some freedom. Get on, my beautiful baby. Now is the time for us to see whether she can do that. It's going to involve some letting go. He's excited about the world and I don't want that to get lost. Bye! -bye.